Since nature is neutral, they say, man has wrestled from nature the power to turn a forest into a desert or make a desert bloom, to plow or pave a garden, or to nurture and conserve it. It's the culture and people who decide. And here in the Cayman Islands, they're making a choice. The only place you'll see blue iguanas in their natural habitat is on the island of Grand Cayman. First thing in the morning or on a cloudy, cool day, they'll be a little bit darker. Darker colors can absorb sunlight better. They can warm their bodies up. As they warm up, they get very, very bright. If they're excited or stressed out, they get very, very bright. So they use it for thermoregulation, and they can also use it for means of communication as well. In 1988, they were classified as critically endangered with a population estimated at around 12 to 15. As recently as 2002, there was less than 12 animals in the wild. At that point, they were classified as functionally extinct. Luckily, through our captive breeding and head starting program, we have reintroduced 750 animals. Our ultimate goal is to have 1,000 animals to have them taken off the critically endangered species list. We collect the eggs from the animal, incubate them to ensure that they hatch, and then we head start them and release them as healthy young adults. This is Wallflower, a free roamer here at the Botanic Park. And that is four of Wallflower's fertile eggs that we excavated. And there was actually eight more behind that. I think it's very important to save the species like this. I think having this diversity throughout the world is really what life is all about. The Cayman Islands excite the passion of preservation. And it is immoderately important to keep that quest alive today.